This is the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum and the Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters in Key West, Florida Travel Guide. Easier access to Key West by the Overseas Railway in 1912 and the flights by Pan American Airlines founded in Old Town Key West in 1926 provided flights to Havana from here which opened up tourism in Key West. Key West became an enclave for the rich and famous in the 1930s, in particular the Pulitzer Award winning Ernest Hemingway who enjoyed Key West for its beaches and was inspired here. Info in this video will include basic information like admission fees, a bit of history and what to see and do, and of course, we'll share our own experiences and tips. Keep watching this video to get the full details to plan your visit for the Hemingway House and Lighthouse in Key West, Florida. Please give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. Welcome to HipFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is HipFig's Key West, Florida Keys Travel Guide series. This episode is the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum and the Lighthouse and Keeper's Gar uh, Quarters Travel Guide for visitors to Key West, Florida. Please make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like our video. FYI, we decided to put these two attractions together in this video since they don't take that much time and are so close to each other. The Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum and the Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters are only two minutes walking distance from each other and located in the historic district of Key West, Florida. You'll find both attractions on the 900 block of the main thoroughfare of Whitehead Street between Olivia Street and Truman Street. Use your GPS from your location if you're driving like us. Metered street parking here can be difficult as this is one of the busiest sections of the historic district. We got lucky and found parking on Olivia Street near the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum, which is located at 907 Whitehead Street. To make life easier, you may consider taking on a hop-on, hop-off tour like the old trolley tours, which operate from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. daily, 364 days a year. Please exit trolley stop number 5 or 12 and then walk. Or you can take the world famous Conk Tour Train, which is runs from about 10.15 to 4.45 p.m., exit at stop B and walk to either the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum or the Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters. They are really close to each other and located on the same street. Please note that prices have gone up from since this video. The general admission is now $16 per adult with discounts for children. The Hemingway Home is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can purchase the tickets online or when you arrive at the ticket booth, cash only. While we were here, we took a 30 minute guided tour of Ernest Hemingway's home and the writing studio. Make sure you don't miss the story of the pool in the last red set. And if you like cats, then you'll definitely enjoy meeting the descendants of his six toed cat sitting around the gardens and grounds. After our tour of the Hemingway House, we left and walked about two minutes down the street to the Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters. I was energized by the crowds of people darting around this vibrant street filled with preserved uh, Victorian and colonial architecture of conch uh, cottages and mansions. We crossed the street to the Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters, and once you go inside, it's like a hidden serene garden. We walk down a long pathway to the gift shop where you purchase your tickets before getting into the official grounds. You can buy discounted tickets online or when you arrive for $17. There are discounts for students, seniors, military, and children. Please check on the Lighthouse website for current hours. They are generally open at 10 a.m. Monday through Saturday. After paying our admission fee, we were ushered into a room with the old lighthouse lamp, which was a pretty amazing. We went through a door into the main grounds. There are a few buildings and a well manicured lawn as well as some gorgeous twisted banyan trees. The main feature, of course, is the lighthouse, which was established in 1848, and amazingly, the first keeper was a woman. Surprisingly, there weren't very many people visiting at the time that we were there, which was perfect because the first thing we did was to walk up the 88 narrow metal steps up to the lighthouse, 
for a spectacular 360 degree view of the whole of Key West and the ocean. The steps are narrow and there isn't really any place to stop except for a small landing halfway up the staircase. If you're a little bit out of shape like some of us were, then you may get a little winded going up, but it's so worth it. The balcony is a little narrow and so if it was crowded it could be an issue, but luckily for us not many people were there when we visited. This is a key place for pictures, so don't forget your camera. The Key West Lighthouse was built in 1825 to help the many ships entering the port to avoid the hazardous reefs here. By the way, you have to go down the same way you came up, and you might want to rest a bit at the top in case your legs are a bit fatigued. The top is a nice place to uh, unwind and enjoy the beauty of Key West. Once we get back down on the ground, we walk through the Keeper's Quarters, which was converted into a museum with historical photos and artifacts. Oh, by the way, also air-conditioned. If you're a maritime history buff or want a spectacular view of Key West and a bit of a workout, then visit this lighthouse. The Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum and the Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters provide a window to the past of Key West with interesting tales, views, and cats. Both the lighthouse and the Hemingway uh, house should take no more than an hour each to visit. Consider combining these two attractions with the southernmost point or Key West Butterfly Nature Conservatory or all four. Check out our other videos for Key West which also include public transport information. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our Hipfig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.